Hey, option traders. For today's strategy, we're taking a look at a cash secured put in DraftKings. The stock was yesterday's IVD stock of the day. And also implied volatility on the stock has popped recently from 65% to near 85%. High implied volatility means one thing, higher option premiums. Higher volatility also means higher risk and a stock price that is likely to see large price swings in either direction. That said, we can best take advantage of this using a cash secured put, which involves writing an at the money or out of the money put option, and then simultaneously setting aside enough cash to buy the stock. The goal is either to have the put expire worthless and keep the premium for selling the put option, or to be assigned and acquire the stock below the current price. It's important that anyone selling puts understands that may be assigned 100 shares at the strike price. So now we're on my thinkorswim trading dashboard and I'm gonna show you how to set up this trade in your own account. You're going to want to first type in DKNG, which is the ticker symbol for the stock. You're going to select a strategy here in this box. And for this one, we're going to select single because that's the, that is the uh, strategy type. Um, and then the strike prices can be seen right here in this middle panel. And we're selling this one right here, the 55 put. And that's about it. In total, the trade will bring in around $300. $60 and we'll also have a max profit of $360. Instead of selling a one month put, we can also look at selling a longer term put instead. So we can take a look at the May 21st strike, uh, same strike, 55. And this one is trading for around uh, $7.20, which would bring in $720 in premium and would also raise the max profit as well. Selling short-term puts results in a higher annualized return, but also a higher break-even price. Longer-term puts have a lower annualized return, but also a lower break-even price. So either way could work well for this trade and every investor should find the style that best suits them. Now to recap, this option trade involves selling a March 19, 55 put or a May 21st, 55 put. The total premium collected on the trade would be roughly $360 for the first option and $720 for the second. And there you have it. I hope this was a helpful trading strategy. Please remember that options are very risky and investors can lose 100% or more of their investment. So make sure you practice with a virtual trading account before you risk any real money, especially if this is new to you. And check out investors.com slash futures dash options for more option trading tips. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching Investors Business Daily on YouTube. If you wanna watch more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing.